Hey, y'all, Grand Rising. Let's see, what does the collective need to be aware of? Let's see. Okay. We have growth. Okay, that's always the motive out here in these streets. Okay, growth. Let's see what else. Tell me more. Holy Spirit, activate. Yeah, we have struggle. So whatever you went through that was a struggle, you grew from that. All right, it was necessary. We have 32, that's 5. We have 38, that's 11. So we got change and elevation. Somebody's birthday could be 511, like me. Shout out to you, Taurus. Okay, 511. Okay, let's get it. But... I'm seeing here, for sure, five is, is change, 11 is elevation, you're elevating, you know, whatever you went through, you grew through, there you go, confirmation, you see what I'm saying? All right, let's see what else, y'all. All right, you grow through what you go through, it's right there, and those two cards right there is what Spirit is saying. All right, the struggle is worth the prize. All right, don't give up. If you're still going through it, don't give up. All right, for some of y'all, you already went through it, and Spirit is showing you here that um it wasn't happening to you before you okay yeah we have your inner journey all right like i feel like it was guiding you to go within you know to ask questions you know to to dig deep to find out why was this happening what was going on what was the purpose you know like you went deep and you found out and that was the purpose right there that spirit wanted you to tap in with spirit to tap in with yourself to get away from the crowd get away from everybody and go through what you needed to go through and and go go in your inner journey you know like learn why you needed to go through this you know there was like a higher purpose there was a purpose to everything all right it's all by design all right what do we have here we have here forgiveness and stripping illusions Okay, yeah, we have transformation right there. So, Spirit is saying, <laughs> like I said, it was all by design, you know. You needed to go through this struggle to strip these illusions, to show you what was truly going on around you, you know, to show you that you needed to stay woke, that you needed to be aware of your surroundings, that you needed to see things clearly from a higher perspective, to really understand that everything is not what it seems, all right? Everything is absolutely not what it seems. So, you needed to learn... How to strip illusions, how to um, realize, you know, that everything that everything wasn't what it seemed like. Uh, we have here forgiveness. You needed to learn how to forgive, forgive yourself, forgive others, you know, letting go, uh, not holding on to resentment, you know, letting go and letting God. So that was part of this uh, inner journey that you was going through, through this whole struggle. Um, you needed to learn determination, perseverance, of course. And then we have here transformation. Like it all, it, it was all for a reason. It all was guiding you in the direction that you needed to go, which was within. Okay. So we have number 22. You could be seeing 222. Uh, this is talking about balance, stability coming, you know, coming into your life now. Um, and it's true because you are balancing now your mind, your body, your soul, you know, you are in balance. That's, that's what the transformation was for, for you to now be in alignment, you know, with yourself, with your mind, with your body, with your soul, with your whole, with the Holy spirit, you know, now you are in balance. We need to be in balance in order to manifest the life that we, that we want, you know, these karmics, they be out of balance, you know, they be lost in the sauce, you know? So you not, you not that, you know, you went through the struggle and now that you know better, you are doing better. Better, okay so that's what i got from that uh let me pull some other cards from here and see what else we got all right all right holy spirit what does the collective need to know We have guilt and we have victim. All right. Don't let nobody make you feel guilty for doing what's best for you, which is discovery. Again, this inner journey. You see what I'm saying? You coming, you coming into balance with your higher self right here with the Holy Spirit. Don't let nobody make you feel guilty or feel confused about making the best decision that is best for you. All right. That's what I got straight up with that. Don't let nobody make you feel like the victim. 
okay? Uh, look at it even on, on the image. You see how this is your energy. You got your halo, you know? You're, you're the divine being, the angelic one. And look at this other person right here. Like I say, out of balance, low vibrational, drinking their life away. You know, you're not supposed to be drinking alcohol that lowers your vibration. All right. So this person, they're really down there. They're really, you know, no, no judging or nothing. It just is what it is. They're already low vibrational. This person, you see how they all down, you know, they want to make you feel down with them. Misery loves company. And look what that's going to do to you if you give into that. What's that right there? It's going to chain you to a life that you already outgrew, that you already transformed. You already did the spiritual work. You spent, you spent time alone. You For some of y'all, um, you transmuted the pain. You went to the gym. You went to, you started to do yoga. You started to walk it out. You started to run. You started to swim. You started to spend time in nature. You started to, you know, you started to do things with your life, you know? And, and that was all, like I said, it was for a reason. It got you to where you are now. So Spirit is saying, you already did all that work. You did all the transforming that you needed to do. You went within. You did everything you needed to do. Do not let this... These are karmics, okay? Don't let this karmic, karmic friend, family, lover, uh, a job, whatever it is, don't let it hold you back is what spirit is trying to say here, okay? Don't let this shit hold you back. You did what you needed to do. You should be proud of yourself. You did the work. Do not let this person or these people hold you back. Don't let them... Make you feel guilty for doing what is best for you. All right. Let me pull some other cards. Yeah, look. I just said this. And this card came out today. I think it was for the uh, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You know, like you, you're doing what you got to do. Spirit is saying, you, you know, you've been getting your body moving. You've been doing what you need to do. And that's been helping you. It's been helping you to transmute the pain, to transmute whatever you've been going through. It has been helping you. All right. Spirit is saying here, every storm has an end. You already ended this storm, this struggle. Now you are about to get blessed. Okay. And uh, you got to keep moving forward. You know, you cannot look back. All right. The storm, you cannot look back to the storm. You got to just keep moving forward. Yeah, look, we got here. You need to save yourself. That's exactly what Spirit is trying to say here. Yeah, because we have a burn. Abundance is your birthright. A burn. I don't know. Maybe somebody trying to burn you. Oh, hell no. Listen, if, if there's a karmic trying to burn you, that's been coming out in the readings that there's a karmic, in the karmic readings that have been coming out, that there's a karmic trying to burn somebody with an STD uh, to trap them so that this person doesn't move forward. They're trying to give somebody an STD, all right? Like, stay away, all right? Swivet is saying, you have bounced back from worse. You're good. You got this, all right? Don't feel like this is something that you cannot handle, all right? You are... You are now seeing things clearly. Now you know what you need to do. Just keep doing what you've been doing because you have been doing great. All right. I'm hearing uh, you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> That's from, what is it? Uh, Chris Jenner, Kim Kardashian's mom was telling her that. She was like, you're doing great, sweetie. You know, so that's the spirit is saying. You're doing great. Keep doing it. All right. Yeah, they're telling you, yeah, chill. Take it easy. You're doing just fine. All right. Slow change is happening here, but they're just trying to remind you that you went through a lot, you know, and you don't want to throw it all away by going back to an energy that is no good for you. All right. They're telling you here, push through your fear, your fears. All right. Because nothing is set in stone. All right. And look, we got numerical symbolism. So that's what I was saying. You could be seeing a lot of angel numbers. Like I I said 22 222 uh 555 five, which is talking about change today i saw 10 10 10 is 10 10 is talking about uh closing out a cycle or completion all right um those numbers are basically just spirit letting you know you are in alignment all right you are tapped in all right you are uh being guided all right so pay attention all right, Spirit is saying be gentle with yourself. Uh, so again, chill, take it easy, be gentle with yourself. You see what they're trying to tell you? Like, relax, you know what I'm saying? All right, you are ever growing and becoming who you need to be. Everything that you go through, you grow through, all right? That's going back to the, the struggle and everything that you was going through. It was all part of the game. It was not necessary, all right? Um, you needed to save yourself, okay? You are destined for greatness, so you cannot you cannot afford nobody making you feel guilty, all right? Because you got shit to do, all right? You're, you're, you're meant to be great out here, okay? And it says here, endings are a gateway to new beginnings. That's what you're doing. You are ending this cycle so that you can now open up this new beginning and you could be able to move forward, all right? Let's see what else. Tell me more, Holy Spirit.
All right. Spirit is saying here, never fold. All right. You are in vibrational alignment. Absolutely. We have the cycle is complete and let the chips fall where they may. Tell them, spirit. Tell them. Let them chips fall where they may. Let them karmics drink their life away and do whatever the fuck they got to do. That is not your problem. The cycle is complete. That is not your responsibility. Do not let the devil hold you back because y'all see how there's angelic beings as myself who are vessels for the Holy Spirit, right? Now, we have other vessels who are vessels for the devil. Just like how there's good, there's evil. So there's also vessels out there who are low vibrational as such and... They have demon, demonic possessions, you know, demons jump on them. The devil be using these entities or, or these vessels to, to try to hold us back. So you need to really be careful who you feeling bad for. Okay. You got to be careful who you feeling bad for. What do we have here at the bottom? All right, it says here, you made it to the uh, finish line. The weight wasn't punishment. It was preparation. Again, this struggle, it was worth it because it was preparation. You were about to get the spiritual inheritance. We all have, all us divine beings, we have a spiritual inheritance. Again, abundance. This abundance is your birthright. All right, this greatness, whatever the card is, this greatness, this abundance is your birthright. Nothing is set in stone. If you thought that your life was already done, no, your life is just starting. Now you are in this discovery mode. You are learning. You're going to learn so many new things about yourself. Learning, uh, You're going to learn so many new things about the universe, about life. You know, it's going to be exciting for you, okay? Like, it's just the beginning, and you're going to manifest so many things with this and this inheritance is like it's finances is you know, your creativity that's going to manifest finances uh multiple streams of income you know like it's just many it's going to manifest in many different ways so your life is just beginning but spirit was uh protecting you because you cannot give these blessings to somebody who's not worthy somebody who's not doing the work somebody who's lost in the sauce depressed you know they got they it's, it's, it's fair game they got the same opportunities that we got all right. They got to they got to heal. They got to do what they got to do just like you did. All right. So don't feel bad for this person. All right. Don't feel bad. That's what Spirit is saying here. Express gratitude because you you about your change. Your life is about to change. All right. But you needed to save yourself. All right. So if you are currently going through this, Spirit is saying you need to save yourself because you have so many good things coming in for you. All right. You are in alignment. Things are about to change. But this is a blockage. This person is a blockage. So the choice is yours. There's people that make that make mistakes every day, you know? There's people that uh, make the wrong choice every day and they decide to stay in a low vibration. They stay for the kids. They stay for the the rent, you know, is cheaper. The keeper is what I'm hearing right now. People be thinking like that and that's horrible. That's settling and they don't get their true abundance. They don't get their birthright. They don't get that, you know? Like basically they cancel it out by choosing to stay in a low vibration by letting these people, letting these situations feel, you know, make them feel guilty, you know? So that's what free will is. You have free will. You could be seeing three, three, threes. I just saw three, three, three. You have free will. So you have to make the right decision, which is to save yourself. That's the test that we all got to go through is either you stay in a low vibration, keep doing the same toxic shit, keep on repeating the same karmic cycles, keep on going through the same bullshit. This person ain't changing. You already know they ain't changing. You already probably got a reading and spirit already told you clearly this person is not going to change. Spirit is trying to guide you away from this person. So now it's up to you. You already got all the information you need. You already went through the struggle. You went through the experience. You already enlightened yourself to what's going on. So now you should not be making no, no bad decisions. All right. One quote that I love to live by is when you know better you do better because i'm like okay that's what i've been living by like once i know better it's, it's, it's hard for me to do something knowing better you know what i'm saying like it's just it's hard for to do that it's, it's it's stupid to do that you know when you know better you're supposed to continue now to do better okay and that's what spirit is asking you to do here the cycle is complete you don't owe these people anything you don't owe this person anything uh karmic relationships friendships family members whatever that is part of life you're supposed to overcome that by separating yourself from it that is a test within itself so like i said it's up to you what you're gonna do you're gonna save yourself or what and then for the group who already saved themselves hey congratulations you have so many good things coming in for you okay that's what i got y'all stay woke